Cooper's out here in Utah. This is the Rolls Royce we just bought. It's a Silver Shadow 2. 79. You can tell. So these ones, they have some rubber on the bumper instead of just pure chrome that's hard mounted. That's because that's when that safety regulation became a thing. Um, and so what we're looking at today is different suspension for it. I mean, so these cars in 79, they have the independent rear suspension in the back, just like you'd expect on a modern car or, you know, um, like on my Ford Raptor where each tire can stabilize. And they actually used to have it on all four tires, pneumatic. But on this one, they found out that most of what was going on is actually being controlled by the rear tires when they level. That's what most people were leveling. So I think it was about 76 where they switched that up. And so this one, we need to replace that because those pneumatic systems, they're, they're known for being really good for the time, but they're really unreliable. And so even though they give you a really smooth ride, it means you're constantly in the shop. And so, so what we're looking at is we really have two different options. We can go with coil over suspension and just drop it low. And that's like something you see on Patrick's Ford GT. Or we can put bags in which simulate kind of the traditional suspension they actually came with, but much more reliably. All right, and so what we're waiting for right now is we're gonna have two of the guys over here at DT explain kind of our different suspension options. So the first one is the coil over suspension. It's kind of like your standard performance suspension. You'll see it on, Patrick has it on his GTST out there. He's upgrading the coilover suspension on his Ford GT. The other option is we can get air struts. So it's on airbags, which is really cool because it kind of lets us mimic that leveling function. It's a lot softer ride, a little more customizable because you can level it, raise it a little, lower it a little. And so what we're gonna have is Alex, who's working on Patrick's car, is gonna explain to us why we might wanna do coilover and then Josh, is gonna to explain to us why we might wanna go with the air struts. All right, so Patrick's gonna to explain to us why we might wanna go with coilover suspension. So, coilovers, in general, they're usually pretty affordable. These are quite expensive, but you don't need to get crazy ones like this all the time. They're just a good economical option to get some good sporty performance. Um, you've got the hydraulic fluid in here, as well as the spring that just absorbs shocks, super standard. That's how pretty much every car is set up. So the thing is with coilovers is it'll be a little sportier feel, a little rougher, not as luxurious, but will pretty much have a permanent drop stance, kind of like this, which is on Patrick's GTST. And like he said, coilovers are pretty much your standard suspension on most cars, especially performance cars. So this actually has just coilover suspension. It'd be pretty low. And so that's our one option. Whereas the alternative is, if we use air struts, we could kind of have that same look most of the time, but then because it's adjustable, we can raise and lower it. And so when Josh gets back, he's gonna actually show us an example of how that looks on one of those black trucks down there. All right, well, it's been about an hour. We've just been waiting for Josh to come back and we had Patrick show us his coilovers, but Josh is gonna show us the air ride on one of these trucks up here. Um, in the meantime, we're, we're just looking at cars, we're just chilling. This is a Bentley Continental. It needs some TLC, it might have gotten some since the last time I saw it, but, oh, it is. So, the last time I saw this, it had no dash. And you can see it's still got some parts in it, but it's coming along pretty nicely. I think they're gonna ask somewhere in the mid 30s for that once it's done. So that'll be a cool car. Um, this is a first gen Audi R8. I actually had this for a test drive with Patrick for probably three hours, four hours. Um, one of the things that's cool is it's the V8, but it's supercharged. So it's actually faster than the V10s. Um, and if you look in here, what is that we see? Oh, oh, focus. Yeah, it's got the gated six speed. This is a really fun car. This is actually what I was hoping to buy before I looked at the rolls, but my wife wasn't a huge fan. 
All right, so I found Josh from DT Auto Brokers and he's gonna run us through the Ride Tech air suspension in this black C10, because that's the exact same one we're looking at for the Rolls Royce. Yeah, so this was a truck that we built a couple of years ago for a customer. He wanted the air ride, um, so we said cool, because these trucks are super cool with them. And we'll show you why. Obviously, as far as air ride, air floating, like drivability, it's smooth, it's comfortable, people love it. But it has those cool options of raising or lowering, right? So this will just give you that simple idea of what it does. All right, so here's the, and when we say million dollar, it's more like the $4,700 question. Which one would you put in that Rolls Royce out there? Would you put coilovers on there so it's always dropped a little more race feel or would you always, would you always wanna go with the air struts? The cool thing with having air ride is your ability, like uh, on a lot of higher end cars, you'll see uh, front lift, right? So you have the ability to raise your front end four inches or whatever. Coilover, super cool. Um, so it really is personal preference because you get that sporty feel. I think what we're doing with that car, I'd like to see, if it was me, I'd like to see air ride just because it's gonna give it a really nice ride. It's still gonna move really good, but then it's gonna give you those options too. If you wanna slam it on the ground or have it at a nice ride height, you know, or be able to raise it to get into some of those places to get to car meets. Oh, dude, that, uh, that's me. If it was me, that's the way I'm going. Yeah. All right, guys. So, why don't you let us know in the comments what you do? Do you think we should put Do you think we should put coilovers on it, like Patrick's GTST and Ford GT, make it a little more of like a racer Rolls Royce, or should we go more for the luxury, the ability to drop it low, raise it back up for the practicality with the air ride suspension? And really, the biggest difference, as far as what I've noticed, is coilovers. They're just cheaper. So it's like, do you really? you spend a couple extra thousand and you get that all those nicer options and so I think that's what I'm leaning towards because just like Josh said imagine being able to drop real low at the car meets look like you're basically driving on the ground but then still able to get in and out of parking lots still able to use it you know go over speed bumps without being worried so just let us know what you think in the comments all right so where are you taking us Josh we're gonna go over to our, uh, <laughs> so we're headed over to Premier Performance uh, these guys are two owners, they're brothers, and they specialize in doing anything from LS performance and uh, they work a lot with Ford and Coyote, uh, building those motors. These boys put a lot of horsepower in their stuff. I've got my car over there right now, they've been doing some work, and so we're gonna go get it. Awesome. So Josh helped me pick up my truck this morning, so I thought I'd return the favor as we leave. All right, so we just showed up, we're gonna check out Josh's CTSV for just a second. Josh is nice enough. Josh is one of the owners of DT Auto Brokers and they specialize in helping people get into their dream cars. So I bought my first GTR through them. I bought this custom built Ford Raptor through them and they're who are helping me build my Rolls Royce right now. Um, but Josh is gonna show us a little later in some other videos, some of just the coolest cars you can get at different price points. Give us real world examples of who's selling them and what they do. But look at how sweet his CTSV is. How, mu how much horsepower does this make at the wheel? All of it. All of it? All yep. the horsepower? All the horsepower, yep. If so, you guys... It's a... Uh, it, 
it makes a lot of horsepower. I don't know if I want to give it away. Because then if one of you guys want to race me, then I can bet you some money. But it uh, it runs on E85, and um, it's got a, uh, it's got, I don't even know where to start. It's got a ton of stuff to it. So anyway, um, this for a family car, it's so awesome. Like, uh, uh, like he was talking about, we're gonna go through and talk about some really cool cars. So, you know, maybe go through some budget cars on what's super cool for price. And um, like I said, we'll dig into this one a little bit more probably another time, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Let's just, let's just finish it off by saying this is one of the best sounding cars I've ever heard. And it's also probably the loudest car I've ever heard. So, well with that, but huge shout out to Josh for walking us through suspensions today, letting us take a field trip to see his car. And I'm excited to have him show you guys some stuff later on.